Welcome back to Songwriting with Iron Fist. Today we're going to take the stuff that Scott talked about regarding the second verse, get it input into the song, and then discuss maybe where we want to go next. Let's watch the show intro, and I'll see you on the other side. It began as a dream with two kids in high school. There was a spark, magic, chemistry. Then life happened. But 30 years later, the fire was reignited. The band is back, better and badder than ever. They prolifically turn out new music, songs hitting the tops of the charts in various corners of the world. Rockin' You Since 82. So Scott had spent a lot of time talking about overbaking and underbaking songs, and that was really good information. In that episode, he also gave us a proposal for a second verse. What I want to do today is input that in the song and see how it works, and then we'll go from there on where we may want to go with this next. So let's get into it. I haven't looked at this in the studio until now, so I just did a bunch of copying and pasting and so forth to kind of stitch the song together uh, through the first verse. And right now I'm just looking at the second verse and seeing um, how the meter of these new lyrics is going to work. So this is the first I've looked at this. Uh, again, for those who haven't seen this before, the only communication that Scott and I are really having on this song is right here through the channel so you're right in the middle of all of it and there's nothing happening outside of this so when he sees this this will be the first time he's seen what i'm doing with the suggested lyrics that he sent <clears throat> so out of the chorus ordinary shell abnormal inside Creature, mask is cast aside. Got to figure that out. Um, right there, the meter of that. She walks away. Creature from hell. Okay, so the the, the syncopation or the the. The, the rhythm of, it's probably how I sang it more than anything. Um, the words don't exactly work, although I know that the um, the number of beats is the same. Um, sinlessness, it ends. I think, no, she walks the way. Yeah, she walks the way, creature from hell. So I know that the syllables are the same there. Um <coughs> But it's the way I was singing it, so I've got to sing it a little differently. And I don't care that I sing everything exactly the same, uh, the first and the second verse. I like to stylize things a little bit. If there's one thing I've learned from saying... <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned from Frank Sinatra, it's be loose with how you sing things. Um, I know Scott likes me to be a little bit tighter on the album, and yet I don't want to kill um, the the spirit or the, or the feel of the song and not have any kind of, um, what's the word, syncopation or looseness with the song. So uh, I, can th I think I know what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I'm going to turn that uh, original verse off, the first verse off, and let's see what I can do with it. Ordinary shell if normal inside creature from hell her mask is cast aside at work she is a saint by night she takes a blade there is no restraint her sanity is free that works yeah that works that works so what I want to do now is um, hopefully be able to sing it that way again and record that uh, in there and let's see what it sounds like mixed down and so forth. So uh, I'll just use my stage mic rather than the studio mic for now because it's all scratch. But um, yeah, problem is I'm going to get a little bit of the track in there if I don't... Um, I'm going to turn this down so you'll still be able to hear it, but I don't want to pick up the track in the recording as much as possible. So let's see what we get now. Is 
ordinary shell, abnormal inside. Creature from hell, her mask is cast aside. It works, she is a saint. By night she takes a blade. There is no restraint, her sanity is frayed. She is bloody Mary. <clears throat> okay. So I don't know what that's going to sound like to you on the video, but that's okay. Um, now let's get this kind of mixed in here and see what we get. Yeah, it works. And I think I, I think I like kind of the way this is feeling of going uh, right out of the first verse into the second into the chorus, right out of the uh, just a second, kill this microphone, um, right out of the chorus into the second verse, then into the chorus again, because then I think we can start to get creative. Um, not that I want to duplicate like what we did in um stranded in the shadows and yet i feel like changing it up after this second chorus where we're, we're kind of in this groove of this story um before we i think there needs to be a third verse as well so this song could be a five minute song uh we're at about two minutes and 10, 15 seconds right now with what we have. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Um, so rather than writing lyrics, I want to discuss concept here. So give me just a minute to think this through and uh, see if we can figure out where this is going to land uh, as far as the story goes. Because I think we're, we're being a little bit um, mystical, if that's the word right now, in this. And I don't know that we have a clear target yet where this song is going to land. So give me a minute to think about that, and I'll be right back. The purpose of the songwriting series is to share the thought processes. So while I took a moment to gather my thoughts, uh, I really want to more just think out loud with you and let you know what I'm thinking uh, about this. So I feel like we've laid the story pretty well. You know, she's innocent by day, a prowler at night. She walks the way so long as there's light. Uh, when the sun descends, the beast inside's awake. Sinlessness, it ends, and mortal souls will quake. She's Bloody Mary, murder in high heels. Bloody Mary, terror acts conceals. Bloody Mary stalks her prey at night. Bloody Mary gores her delight. That's pretty straightforward. So we're kind of in the second verse um, telling that same story again with a little different twist. So I don't see anything new uh, story-wise happening, but we're more describing more of what she's like. And that's that's good, because uh, you're really starting to get a feel for this, uh, I don't know, murderous bitch? Is that what you want to call her? I'm not sure. Um, ordinary shell, abnormal inside, creature from hell, her mask is cast aside. At work she's a saint, by night she takes a blade, there's no restraint, her sanity is frayed. So one of our crew members, Chris, who um, we call Creeb affectionately, uh, had watched the uh, other video or two on this and texted me with some questions that I think were worth pondering. And I don't know that we want to answer all the questions. But it's interesting to ponder, why is she this way? So if we look at uh, a similar song in a different time frame, 
uh, historically reggae jack about a pirate queen. Um, she's been hurt and betrayed by men, and she becomes that murderous uh, pirate queen whom men fear but want. Um, <clears throat> you know, it was uh, <clears throat> men became her trade, so she became a slave trader basically. Um, so that's an interesting concept and I see this being similar except we're not necessarily saying that she's only slaughtering men so um, I feel like maybe it's implied but that could just be supposition or uh, my own whatever on this song um, but let's assume that she's been somehow burned by men. Although it could be an interesting twist to say that she's out murdering women because she was the jilted lover. Right? I don't know. We're, we're not going to define that necessarily. Or maybe she's murdering both because she's just that way. Maybe she's a sociopath, um, psychopath. Um, don't know. <clears throat> so where do we go with this? Do we hint at her past do we um, do we hint at what her goal may be uh, when when is this spree going to end that's interesting um, when will she be done with her vengeance did we say the word vengeance in there uh, no so we didn't even hint at vengeance so maybe it's not vengeance um, so again you know the, the, the thing that I said in the two videos ago was, so what's the concept behind the song? No clue. Um, yeah, we don't know what the concept behind the song is. So where do we go with a break? Where do we go with a verse? Um, those are interesting things, and I, and I really don't want to answer those in this video. Um, I want to work on some things musically, but I want to present those to you, Scott, so that you can ponder some of that. And again, I, I really feel it's important not to define the reason why or necessarily... Um, may, maybe those are questions that we can ask in the third verse and in the break. What happened to her? What made her this way? Where is she going? Uh, what will she say? Didn't intend that to rhyme. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, and we, we've got to have, um, some kind of a eight bar break, maybe longer, um, guitar solo, maybe not as important. Um, maybe we'll work some riffing into what we have here now. Um, some Striper-esque kinds of things, or maybe we'll go more Alice Cooper like we did in Nightmares. Um, <clears throat> not sure. I'm, I was, as I was singing this, I thought, wow, you're singing this really straight up. I'm not sure this is the voice that I should be singing it in. And so I'm pondering that as well, although that's not the purpose of the songwriting series. Yet it's worth taking into account, uh, here as we look at this because you know, I come to you in nightmares uh, was the way I sang nightmares so I sang it very ominous um, so innocent by day probably doesn't work here because of the key for one thing um, but yet innocent by day I don't know you know there's there's ways that I could play with my voicing in this to to evoke a feel so what's the feel we want to evoke here so there's more to songwriting than phrasing and notes and uh, words on a page uh, and I think that's partly what we want to get here so um, I want to go to the end of the chorus here that we've done now and just play with some potential um, where we want to go into maybe an eight bar break 12 bar break i don't know somewhere in that area here so uh let me grab the axe get it tuned up and i'll be right back in fact it'll be so fast you won't even know that i was gone because it'll be just like all right so i've got some interesting thoughts here uh pardon the mess in the studio i've been so busy between this show and another youtube show that i do and working on music for other artists and writing music for the band and recording i just haven't had time to organize things in here so anyway apologize for the mess but uh, busy 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 here at rebel rouser so all right uh anyway so we we come out of that uh <laughs> Gore's Her Delight is on an E. 
I thought about going up to like a, an F. Okay, that's a G. Yeah, but that's kind of like, I don't know. I like that transition to a C. I'm not sure it fits the tone or the mood of the song. Maybe that and just let it ring out with something there and then fade back in with the third verse in the chorus. Maybe we don't do a third verse. Maybe we capture everything in a break there. Some kind of a spoken part. Not sure. Could go. So we go to an F. Maybe. It's kind of redundant from where we were. So it's an octave up, but I don't think I want to go there. It's too redundant. To a D. It works. So that was uh, what did I do? To a D. To an A. To a C. To a G. Maybe. keyboard but in half step tuning it would be a B chord on the guitar B minor nah I could see through a progression landing at a B minor uh, somewhere in there or in some kind of a transition into a minor yeah Okay, yeah, so Scott, you'll have to work this out uh, with your doctor type brain and stuff, but uh, E to that B, uh, B flat. That's uh, B flat, sorry. So anyway, E, e to a B flat. B, G, G minor, okay, so I went E to a B flat to a B to a G, maybe a G minor, and then back to that B minor, I'm going to 
to leave it at that and let Scott play with those chord progressions. I think he gets the feel for what I'm doing and with his doctoral brain and all his smarts and understanding. Heck, I can hardly even read chords on a guitar for crying out loud. I can play them, but, you know, I was sitting there calling that a B when it was a B flat because I have to think about it. It's not natural to me. I know a lot of them, but I don't think in that world. I don't think about notes and chords. I just play crap. I mean, I get it. I understand first, you know, uh, first and third and fifth and fourth and all that stuff, minors, majors, different modes, but I have to think too much about it versus what comes just naturally, intuitively to me on the guitar. Um, so let's uh, just pause this a moment and then I'll be right back. I want to think for a second and I'm not very good at it, so it can take me just a little bit of time. <laughs> B, then down to that B flat minor. Kind of like that. Ending on that dissonance. Then right back into the verse. Wherever that note is, and I don't even remember, but I'll figure it out. So that's another possibility anyway. I wanted to just interject that there right now and I will be right back this quick. So I just sat here for a moment and started thinking about where we might want to go lyrically during this break. Maybe a spoken break, but that's not right now what I'm trying to do. So I just came up with the line. I haven't finished the phrases yet. Uh, the first line I came up with was the dark inside from horror past. And the next step I want to go is like creating this lust. Um, it can't be satisfied. So um, something along the lines of uh, the dark inside from horror past. Bloody hunger. That's not, it's, I want to talk about that being satiated, but it never lasting. I think I need to use the word sate there. Um, S-A-T-E, let me look it up in my handy dandy thingy bobby here. So I'm going to just do a define S-A-T-E, I think, because I think that's the root word of the word satiate. Yes. Oh, to satisfy a desire or an appetite to the full. So it means kind of what I thought. Yeah, so sate the lust with a question mark. Scott's going to hate this. will never last <laughs> I don't know so the dark inside from horror past sate the lust sate the lust oh that's gonna suck to sing we'll have to work that differently but again I'm riffing words sate the lust twill never last yeah, that's not too bad so I'm, I'm falling into my Vincent Price uh, mentality here right now from Thriller, similar to what we did in Stranded in the Shadows. The dark inside from horror past. Say the lust twill never last. <laughs> that is not what I want to do. Been there, done that. Um, the dark inside from horror past. Say the lust twill never last. <sighs> Find fulfillment. I don't know. Riffing. I'm not thinking right now about syllable counts, all of that. I'm just putting down words. Find fulfillment. It shall not be. I've not thought of any of this, so I'm just, you're seeing it happen. I already used the word last. It shall not be, okay. Find fulfillment. It shall not be. If you see her come, you better flee. I don't know. If she walks your way. Now with some time. So I'm going to leave it at that. So we have eight lines. The dark inside from horror past. Sate the lust twill never last. Find fulfillment it shall not be. The word if needs to go because that screws up the syllable count, I believe. She walks 
your way, you better flee. Okay, so I'm not sure I like that, doesn't matter. What I do want to do is just kind of riff on that idea with Scott, and uh, I would normally take a lot more time on this, um, but I feel like he's getting uh, what I'm doing and um, what I'm thinking here, riffing off of what he's going. I'm not sure that that second line of AF4 works the fine fulfillment it shall not be she walks your way you better flee i'm not sure that takes me totally where i want to go so let me think about that amendment i, I kind of like the fine fulfillment it shall not be she walks your way you better flee eh, that doesn't work um it shall not be i want to talk more about her not about how scared you should be give me a second okay here's a better idea she tortures souls with sadistic glee. I don't know. Or tortured soul. Maybe that's better. Sadistic glee. That kind of gets down where, you know, uh, more along the path of what I'm thinking. So the dark inside from horror past, sate the lust will never last. Find fulfillment that shall not be tortured soul sadistic glee. That really does kind of shadow and hint at uh, some of what must be going on in her. Uh, there may be more there, but I think that's a good start. So we've heard the second verse, we've heard the chorus, um, and what I want to do is riff the whole song right now, uh, just let you hear it, and then um, I will speak this even though there's not going to be any... Um, music with it at this point because I'm not playing with any of those chord progressions as yet. I'm not ready for that. Uh, I really want Scott's input on that musically. So let's uh, let's play this. Again, musically, now, I'm not trying to put a melody on it because I don't know where the chord progressions are going to go. I'm not intending to speak it, but I wanted to get the feel of it coming out of that second chorus and how is that going to do. Um, at this point, I'm almost wondering if all we need is a final chorus on this. Maybe that's enough. Maybe that captures what I was thinking a third verse might do. We are at about two minutes and 
oh, 25, 30 seconds right now, I think. Yeah, just shy of 2.30. Um, one more chorus would put us at about 40 more seconds, so we'd be just about three minutes. I'd like the song to be just a bit longer, but, you know, I mean, some of the songs can be like two and a half minutes. I mean, the kick in the head, I think, is two and a half minutes long. It's ridiculously short. Um, but, you know, by the same token, I think there's this song is worth getting lost in and it's worth running three to four minutes. I don't think five minutes, but maybe. Um, yeah, I think five would be a bit long as I'm seeing if we're not doing a third verse. We'd land probably at about five minutes with the break and then um, another verse if we added it and a final chorus. Um, so those are my thoughts on Bloody Mary. Um, let me just gather my thoughts here and then we'll do a wrap up on this. Don't go anywhere. This is important. Stay here. Wait, just stay tuned. I'll be right here. I promise. Told you. You didn't even know I was gone, did you? Probably going to do it for this episode. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Come on. There's a lot more here for you. You don't need to go anywhere else. Just look up here. There's the song series that we did on Stranded in the Shadows. Um, that's a good songwriting series from beginning to end, including the released version of the song. So uh, check that out. Um, there's music videos here if you want to see those. Uh, we put together three or four music videos and posted them here on YouTube. Check those out. Uh, point is, um, the tendency is when we get to this point in a video, people say, all right, that's enough. I'm done. Don't be done. There's, there's more for you here. So just keep that in mind. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? There's so much here for you. And we're continuing to add more content, hopefully on a weekly basis. That's what we're shooting for. Sometimes life gets in the way because we both do other things. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please do smash that bell so that you receive notifications. Also, smash the like button down there so that uh, we know that you like what we're doing. Give us a comment. Give us some feedback. In fact, give us some ideas of what you'd like to see happening in this song. We're always open to outside suggestion, as I mentioned, uh, with our electronics technician engineer, Chris, and his questions about the song. Good stuff, Creep. Thanks. And uh, we are on Instagram, Iron Fist on uh, <laughs> yeah iron fist underscore online or we're on facebook forward slash iron fist online so uh, we appreciate you being here and this channel really is here for you uh, for those of you that are songwriters or who at least are interested in learning about the songwriting process we appreciate you watching uh, if there's other content you would like to see from us drop those comments down there let us know and uh, ironfistonline.com is our website. Make sure you check that out. And as always, rock.